Hey guys, just wanted to show you how I do the uh, new backdrop and um, this is the new Batman backdrop and all I did was to cut out um, baby face out and just left here a nice little hole so you can fit any any other newborn in it. Um, I've also tried it with babies a little older than newborn and it looked just fine. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and let's just go and quickly get a selection from here. It's already selected so let me just deselect it and I'm going to take my lasso to select it again and drag it to my image. Now um, when you do when you do that when you when you take the photo of um, the newborn make sure that baby does not have a bonnet and you don't really need to worry about the wrap um, because it's it the, the all these ones are just gonna be a bit of obstacles in your edit you can do that and I'll show you how I'm, I'm actually doing it but it would be best if baby would just be naked um, for this particular image now um, the light on this image on the newborn is a bit um, different from the other direction so I just want to flip the image so I'm just going to go to uh, edit transform and flip horizontal. There you go. So now we got the image with the right lighting from the right direction. I'm going to click on the uh, shift key and drag from the corner just to size the image. Alright, so that looks like roughly how I'm going to want it. So um, when you do get the um, the Batman backdrop, you will only have only have a, one layer. So what you need to do is you need to duplicate it. If this one is already duplicated, you just drag it to this symbol here, and it creates another duplicate for that layer. So I'm just going to take the image of the newborn and place it in between. So as you can see, we are already there. But there's a little bit of leftover here and there. So what do we do with that? Let's just go back to our top layer and we're going to go to filter, little fine. I'm going to drag the image, just make a smaller hole for the baby face. Alright, that looks alright. I'm just going to click OK. And that's what we got. So I'm going to create a layer mask to this layer and grab my brush. Make sure my brush is on color black. Just make sure that the black is here. And I can just go for 100% opacity. Um, the, first, the first thing I want to do is just I want to expose all my baby um, cheeks because this cutout hole is for a thinner baby and as you can see this baby it was she was it's actually it's a girl and she was massive so um, I don't want I know it looks funny but I don't want to give uh, the parents a, a different baby shape face um, face shape <laughs> so um, yeah so I just I just want to make sure that the face is all there let's just switch here the colors from black to white I'm still on my lay mask still on 100% and I'm just going to delete what I don't need This is just a part that you need to be a little more careful. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, excess here. I am going to just lower the opacity here. Maybe even the hardness. It's just a part that you kind of need to play a little bit and make sure that 
things look so right and make sense. You can still see a little bit of yellow, but it's okay. I'm going to quickly do it again just because I want more of what here. Let's go back and have a little look. <laughs> yeah. She just got massive cheeks, but it's cute. Um, yeah, it really works well even with this photo. Although it wasn't very, um, you know, it wasn't planned like that. So the other thing I want to do, just to match the color, the face color a little bit better with the backdrop, I'm just going to quickly go stand on that layer, the fade layer, and go to filter, photo filter, right there. And put it go to something a little more yellowish. No, it's not too too much. I'll show you before and after. But it warms up the baby face a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see it on the video. Um but it works better overall, it just fit better. The other thing I wanted to do is to maybe add a little bit of shadow here on the side. Go back on our baby layer and lots of ways to do that. I'm just going to quickly try with the easiest way which is just the um, burn tool. And I'm on the shadows which is okay. Let's just quickly have a look and see if it is okay. Click a little bit. Just see if you can create shadow that makes sense only on this side without it looking a bit like a bruise on the cheek all right and if you do want to get rid of the yellow color there there's i mean it's only on this photo you are not going to have this particular problem but what i would probably do is i'm going to go to Hue saturation, select the yellow, and take it down. Just see, this is a different, yeah, there's, there's a huge difference there. Um, I can still see a bit of yellow, so I'll go back to the yellow and I'm going to get my picker. Alright, now this just took too much. Um, you know what, let's just leave it. I think it looks okay. So, the other thing that I'm going to do, let me just see before and after. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see a good different there. Alright, so it's good for me. I'm happy with this um, selection. Um, what else did we wanted to do? I think that's it. I mean, we can just go ahead flatten the image or put another extra filter on top of everything just to bring everything sort of back together maybe yeah it's your choice I think in this point you can just choose what else you want to do but this is pretty much how I would edit my um, baby face into this backdrop so I hope that helped you and let me know if you got any questions. It's really not difficult to do that. It's really just drag and drop in. And um, please follow all of my instructions. And if you do have anything um, that you'd like to comment, anything I can do to improve, just let me know. And I'll do my best to do it. So thank you so much. And enjoy. Bye-bye.